guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Kelsey and I'm a mom of an almost one year old, which is crazy to say. My baby will be one next month and I'm so excited, but it seriously has flown by. And so I was just reminiscing and I really wanted to make a video on newborn essentials because there were a lot of products that I used when Kenzie was born that I wanted to share with you guys. I know that if you're expecting or if you're a first time mom, it's really overwhelming because there's so many baby products out there and you don't know necessarily what ones are the best. So I'm going to share with you guys what I loved and of course you can pick and choose from this video of like what you think is going to work best for you as a mom. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot to talk about. There's a lot of stuff here so let's get into it. And I just want to say if you're pregnant or expecting then congratulations. Such an exciting time I bet in your life and I honestly believe it's the greatest adventure of your life. I have loved motherhood so far and it honestly just to me seems like it's getting better and better. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed or nervous about being a mom, don't because you're going to be perfect at it. You're going to be exactly what your baby needs and you're going to have the most special beautiful bond with them and it's just gonna grow and grow and grow you feel like your heart is gonna burst um, but yeah so the first product I want to talk about is one of the products I think I used the most or a lot with Kenzie when she, when I brought her home um, and I don't have the smaller size of this one but this is a you can't really tell what it is but it's a velcro swaddle sack and this is by the company called swaddle me you can get them off Amazon I think they come in like a pack of two for twenty dollars but these were a lifesaver for me babies of course when they're fresh out of the womb they like to feel like tight and snuggly and cozy. You just wrap this around them and then velcro it really tight and snug um, and they're awesome. Kenzie loved this thing and I love the velcro swaddles a lot more than the swaddle like muslin blankets and the reason why is because I feel like Kenzie would just like get out of the swaddle blankets whenever I do it because it's kind of tricky to get it really tight and I feel like she would just kick out of it right away and it was just not working. So the velcro one she couldn't get out of. So yeah, I highly recommend these velcro swaddles. Also, I will mention like these muslin swaddle blankets because we had a lot of these. We, I think I had like six or seven of these swaddle blankets and I do love them. I'm not going to lie. I don't love them for swaddling her like super tight because it never worked out. They are good for practically anything. Anytime we'd like go out, I'd throw this over her car seat if it was bright out or something like that. Um, it's nice for like privacy. If you're like nursing, you can throw it over you. They're really big. So that's what I like about them. They're super big. This one specifically is by the brand called Little Unicorn and I think it's really pretty. It's this like nice floral print. I would get a few of these if I were you and put them on your registry for your baby shower because I do, I do really like them. Um, but for sleep, like at night, the Velcro swaddle was what I used every night for her um, when she was like going to sleep for the whole night. Well, <laughs> she wasn't sleeping the whole night, but you know what I mean. <laughs> when she would go to sleep at night, we'd use these. I'm going to talk about this next because this I used religiously, like all the time. Um, because as a new mom, you do not have any hands available ever again, <laughs> it feels like. Uh, I feel like I was holding Kenzie like 24 hours a day. Like I feel like I never put her down. And this is by Solly Baby. Can't really like show you but I can kind of like spread it out but if you don't know what this is it's a wrap it's just like a long piece of fabric it's really long and you like wrap it around you and you tuck your baby in there and they sit there like so snug and cute and perfect so I love these I do think this is an essential Next, I'll talk about a few clothing items that I feel like are super essential when you bring home your baby. And in my opinion, I would say that you need to get like a ton of these zippered pajama onesies. And I swear by these zipper ones, they're so easy and super convenient. I wouldn't buy snap-up 
pajamas any longer if I like have another baby um, because these are just so much easier and you can still get really cute prints and patterns this one is from Carter's I love the little whales um, so yeah we have a lot of different like patterns I love these like ballerina ones and it's nice at night because you're so tired and if you have to change their diaper you don't want to like have to like snap them up again and so I promise you're gonna thank me later <laughs> just buy them I'm sure you've heard this but onesies you gotta have like a ton of onesies um, I put her in a onesie I think like every day for like the first I don't know three or four months it felt like um, I feel like that's all she wore um, just like either long sleeve onesies or short sleeve onesies or they even have tank top onesies like this one. This one's super cute. Has little flamingos over it. Um, but yeah, I really think you need to have like, I don't know, at least 10 onesies. We had a lot. Old Navy has really great onesies. They're super soft. They're really inexpensive. They have like the cutest little prints on them. Um, obviously for both boy and girl. And yeah, so lots of onesies. Another thing we used a ton were burp cloths. I use these a lot, especially when I was breastfeeding. Um, breastfeeding is an adventure <laughs> and I'm sure you've heard that before, but there's just a lot of like leakage and you just, you don't feel the cutest at that point in your life. But um, I use burp cloths all the time to like, <laughs> this is gross, but like wipe up leakage or like wipe off Kenzie's like spit up or whatever you use them for so many things so I highly recommend at least getting one pack of burp cloths just to have on hand in case you use these for anything and everything burp cloths are definitely an essential in my opinion all right so a few more essentials um gripe water you need this to get anything out of this video I do think you should at least get gripe water because Kenzie, I swear, had hiccups like every few hours it felt like when she was a newborn. Um, but this gets rid of them instantly. I'll put a few drops of this in her mouth if she has hiccups and they'll be gone like within a minute or two. So I really do believe in gripe water. This is great for stomach discomfort or if they have colic or anything like that. Um, but yeah, mom swear by this and I didn't believe it but then I tried it and it really does work great. So gripe water I think is an essential obviously diaper rash cream this one I specifically love this is by honest this is the honest diaper rash cream and this gets rid of it like right away like within a few hours I swear um, but yeah it's really gentle it doesn't smell like anything it doesn't have any like gross smell um, there's so many like choices out there you just feel bombarded by all the products that are out there it's hard to like really narrow it down and try and find out what's gonna be best for you so I hope this helps in some way I do think an essential is getting like one of those safety slash grooming kits for your baby um, this one was by I think safety first I can't remember I'll try and like find this one down below we filled it with other stuff at this point because she's getting a lot older so we fill it with like her medicine or Tylenol or Motrin or whatever so this little bag comes stocked with like everything you need so it comes like with a thermometer with nail clippers like a ton of different things and I really did like the summer's infant nail clippers so that one I do suggest getting I thought that was great definitely need one of these like nasal sucker things I think it's like a nasal aspirator or something you definitely need one of these I feel like they have so much snot um, and I like I liked this one a lot because the tip is really small so obviously when you have a newborn baby they're so tiny um, so this one is really tiny so I felt like it fit up Kenzie's nose a lot better than a lot of the other ones like the ones you get from the hospital did not work at all they're really harsh and I didn't like them but this one by Little Remedies it works really well I also feel like saline drops are super important to have as well so I'll leave this set down below if you're interested it comes stocked with a lot of goodies I got this one from Target and I think it was like $20 also the Wubba Nubs I think I had like six of these um, she loved these things when she was a newborn um, I love them because they're weighted they'll sit on her chest so she loved the Wubba Nub for about three months of her life and then we switched her over to the Avent um, pacifiers and now she only uses these exclusively and they're awesome I love these pacifiers
yours. At least maybe get one of them to try it out to see if your baby takes to it because not all babies obviously take to pacifiers, which I can't imagine. I feel like pacifiers are like the real MVP, you know? Like I don't know what I would do without this thing, like on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely pacifiers are a must. Also, bottles obviously are a must because you need to have quite a lot of bottles on hand. I think we had like maybe five or six bottles. Um, we used the Como Tomo bottles for her whole life so far, um, except this one is one we have used as in the past like few months and I wish I did have this when she was younger because this is really an awesome bottle. So this is by the company called Fuel Baby. They sent this for me to try and I love it. If you are going to be formula feeding, this is a great option for you because in the middle of the night when you're so exhausted and you don't necessarily want to make a bottle and get out of bed and do that whole thing, which I've done for the past year and I'm so over it, it's kind of exactly like a protein shake bottle. It has like that little ball that sits in it and the formula doesn't mix with the water. So you put the formula at the bottom, the water up at the top, and then you push this button at the bottom when you're ready in the middle of the night to shake it, and you push it, and then it combines and mixes all together, you shake it up, and the bottle's ready to go. It's so convenient. I feel like it makes mom life just a tad bit easier, which is great in my opinion. This is a product I wish I had when Kenzie was born. It's a nightlight that you just tap on and it's portable so you can carry it around with you wherever you go. Um, this is by the brand called Vava and I got it off Amazon for I think like $12. It's just really awesome and convenient. Um, and in the middle of the night, like if you have to get up and pump or do whatever you have to do as a mom, um, it's just nice to have like a little light so that you're not like tripping over everything like I have done in the past. Highly recommend it. It comes in this blush and I think a mint and also white. So it comes in a few different like colors which I really like but we have loved it so far. We use it every night now with Kenzie in her crib. I definitely think it's an essential um, when you're a new mom. Okay now this is the real MVP in my opinion. I have to talk about this um, because this is the Docata and I don't know if you've heard of them before but they're all over the place now and for good reason and I'm not just saying that because I'm sponsored by them because I'm not but um, this is the Docatot and if you don't know anything about this this is pretty much just like a portable mattress for your little one and it's just it's amazing like I used this every day of her life for the first like six months and it was just so convenient um, we did co-sleep for quite a while, which was not my plan, but it ended up just happening how it did. And so this was like our lifesaver. Kenzie got so much use out of this and our next baby's gonna get a ton of use out of this. Um, but yeah, I love the Docata. I do think it's definitely an essential. It's so convenient to just like carry around your house, like bringing your baby like to and from different places. I think it's awesome. So yes, definitely an essential for me. I feel like I have so many things I'm talking about. I hope this video isn't boring you. I'm sure if you're expecting, you've been doing research and a lot of people talk about the Boppy and for good reason as well. Um, it's super soft. It's great for breastfeeding support. You just wrap it around your waist. It just gives some extra support there. It's not just for breastfeeding. You can use it for um, tummy time, for them sitting up or whatever. I personally think these are super comfortable for me, like to wrap around me and like sleep on at night. I really liked it. I think this is a good option for breastfeeding support. Obviously, car seat and stroller. Um, I had the Nuna um, Pippa car seat, which I'll show you right now because I do have it here. So this is the Nuna. I highly suggest this car seat. I think it's super awesome. Um, really good quality. I haven't had any problems with it. The car seat base is really easy to install. I've heard like really horror stories about like installing car seats, but this one is super easy. We take it like to and from like my car and Jeans's car, so it's not hard. I don't have the newborn insert anymore, obviously, because uh, she's a big girl. Um, but yeah, it comes with like a newborn insert and that worked really well. It's really cushiony and soft. Um, 
it's been really safe it feels super sturdy um, really great quality I like like this chrome metal bar um, apparently it's like one of the lightest car seats on the market and that's what I really liked about it I personally don't feel like it feels light with Kenzie in it <laughs> because she's so big I feel like I'm like the Hulk whenever I carry her because it's just so heavy I feel like such a strong badass woman if you're in the market for a good car seat I highly recommend it I'm not just saying that like this is a great car seat so this product I do want to mention because it has been awesome for us I definitely think this is an essential especially if you're gonna be like crib training your baby or if they're gonna be sleeping in a crib at an early age I think this is really important to have this is the lollipop baby monitor and we actually just got this like I don't know two months ago and I really wish we had one like since he was born um, but this specific monitor is so cool it's like a silicone base and then it like bends so you can just like wrap it around your crib rails or wrap it around like anything it's really awesome because it's Bluetooth enabled so you can just hook it up there's an app um, on your phone and how cute is it it's like so modern looking um, but yeah the camera quality has been really good I can see her perfectly at night um, you can speak to them you can hear perfectly like everything every little sound um, but yeah highly recommend getting a baby monitor I do think it just makes you feel a little bit more safe um, at night if you're not in the room with them just making sure you have a watchful eye over them at all times so yeah this is definitely a great baby monitor if you're in the market I highly do recommend checking this one out okay guys I'm almost done I swear I promise I feel like I've like showed so many things um, really quickly I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything I like wrote like notes on different things we use the ubi diaper pail and that one you have to get it's so awesome um, all of our dirty diapers go in there and you literally can't smell a thing um ooh, a play mat i highly suggest getting a play mat i'll insert the one we had michaela got it for us and it was awesome kenzie loved it her star and moon time we call it and it just worked really well it was from pottery barn and it's seriously so cute. It's gender neutral, it's black and white. I can't wait to keep it and use it for our next baby, so it's just gonna like grow with us. Um, also, the blooming bath flower. Um, so you're gonna obviously wanna get them something for the bath. We gave her a bath in the sink for, I think like, the first five months of her life or something, maybe even the first six months. Um, but yeah, the blooming bath, it's like a flower. It worked out really well for us. It's super soft um, and it made Kenzie feel really comfy and cozy in there. So we really like the Blooming Bath. Um, get a baby book. I think baby books are a really big essential. I've been filling out Kenzie since she was born and it's been really special to like see her journey and see her grow. A rocking chair. You have to get a rocking chair, isn't in my opinion. I was in that rocking chair, I swear, like every day of my life for like months and months and it's just a special place and I would pump in it every time. Um, I would feed her, I would bounce her, rock her. It's just a great thing to have. So get a good quality, like comfy rocking chair. I definitely think that's a must. What I wish I did get, I really wish that we had a sound machine from when she was born because obviously when they're in the womb there's like so much noise and they're like used to that and they like that and I really do think that would have helped her sleep better. I don't know, I'm just guessing, but um, anytime she like hears sounds now or like music, it like soothes her. So I do wish we had a sound machine. I also really wish I had a pumping bra. So it's a bra that holds your pump. I didn't have one and it was a nightmare. I would hold my bottles while I was pumping like on my breasts and it was just, it was a nightmare. I hated it, it was the worst. You just feel like a cow and <laughs> gross. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> Oh yes, Netflix account and YouTube. That is definitely an essential in my opinion because I feel like you're doing that a lot because you're breastfeeding, you're trying to learn your baby, you're trying to like bond, and you're just like at home like all the time. So Netflix and YouTube I feel like are definitely essentials. Um, also doggy pee pads. I know that may sound weird, but doggy pee pads worked out so well for us. We got like a whole stack of them from 
Amazon, I think they came in a set of 200 and they're really awesome because if you don't have like a diaper changing station and you're just using the floor or using your bed or whatever, you put the doggy pee pad under your baby's bum and it's perfect. Like it works great. They're disposable so if there's like any residual like poop or pee on them, you can just throw them out and they're awesome. So highly recommend that. And I think that's it. I really hope some of these things I talked about today gave you ideas on what you think you need for your baby. And I wish you the best of luck in motherhood. You're going to be amazing at it. And yeah, so that is everything I have to talk about. Everything. I feel like it was like so many things. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm off to hang out with my babe. So have a good rest of your night and I'll talk to you very soon.